Hey guys, just wanted to pop in real quick and let you know I am going to be doing the rest of this series on twitch.tv slash Gorilla. You can watch me stream it live. I've decided that's probably going to be the way I do it from now on because I enjoy that more, at least for Twilight Princess. So if you'd like to see me record it live, you can head on over there. I'll have a link here somewhere. Uh, don't worry, it'll still be on YouTube, so you can still get it here. Just, you can watch me play it live. It'll be a little bit different style since I'm streaming, but, you know... That, that, I think it'll end up working better. I will enjoy it, thus you will enjoy the videos more. So, hopefully I see you over there, and on with the show. Hello, surprise everyone! It's the second episode, except it's not really a surprise because you knew it before I did, but, uh, yeah, it's the second episode. I wasn't sure if I was going to make one big one or two short ones, I decided to just go ahead and, er, a medium one and a short one, but I decided I'm just gonna go with a short one. If it's short, who cares? At least I have a video for every day of the week, like I'm supposed to. Alright, Goron, let's do this. Grab! No! Hey, I'm still up here! Aw, oh, damn, I hope I- I was hoping I bugged it out and I could, uh, could, uh, get up there without it. Damn, that would have been cool! Uh, a, um... What do you call it? Iron boot skip? That would have been great. Alright, headed back to Kakariko, and then we have to head to Ordon. Oh, hello, guy's name. I forgot his name up to, or whatever. Fortune in One Piece, I was worried. Yeah, you don't have to be worried about me. I've got the clothes, or maybe you don't know about that. I don't know. Far too dangerous. They recognize only strength. There's... But, there's one person that gained their trunks. Bo, and guess what? He's the mayor of Ordon. Go figure. Sometimes the world is too small for my tastes in Zelda games. I know there's only like so many people you can put in and so many things that are relevant, but... And you don't necessarily want peop like one-off characters, necessarily. At least not that are story cr crucial. But, you know... It's weird. It's just weird. Okay. Oh. Oh shit! I'm taming... Right. Right, I guess I would need to tame her first. Right, okay. I love how they conveniently cut to before she had to jump over the, uh... Over the fence. And Link looked pretty cool standing the way he was there. He's like, okay, yeah, I know what I have to do here. Alright, let's do this in one shot. One shot! One take Jake. Is that a thing? One take Jake? I know there's a one take, like, one take thing. Oh shit! No, I forgot the A button! I forgot that part of the QTE! Damn it. Well, shit. So much for one take Jake. Oh no! Okay. We're good. Okay. Okay. Why? I was holding the right directions! Get on. Damn it. Three tries. Are you kidding me? Seas. There we go. That took too many tries. Yeah, Pona. All right. Woohoo! Oh. Uh. Okay. Hello, Minda. You're not too shabby at a wrangler. Well, that is pretty much his day job. So when he's not busy saving the world and whatnot, he's a good, pretty good wrangler, I think. So I was reading a thread on Reddit, someone else was having troubles with uh, controlling Epona. And someone had suggested in that- <sighs> Hello Mr. Mailman. Someone had suggested in that thread, instead of holding forward to steer her, you can use boost so she auto runs and you can just use left and right to control her. Oh, Uku, I guess. That's the bird from the dungeon. Um, but yeah, I- th he said to use the sticks back and forth, and that seemed to work better. Whoa, no, 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 no. But you do have to hold forward to start start walking, or else you dismount like that. So I'm going to try that, see if that helps at all. Uh, of course, you have to space out. Okay. That may or may not work. But yeah, I, I don't... I still don't get... That one, That thread made me... It, it reassured me a little bit that it's not necessarily my stick, but that it's just a weird quirk with the game. I, I, I would almost rather it be my gamepad. At least that way, 
there could be I could have a fix for it. There, there, there could be something I could do about it. But when it's the game, there's nothing you can do about it. I've also noticed that sometimes I'll be holding straight, yet Link will move up and to the left. So I think it's probably just something to do with not only the game, but just the way that the joystick on the gamepad works. I really don't know. I don't know enough about the Wii U to know for certain if that's the case or not. Okay, so we need to head to Ordon. We're gonna have to tell every single villager that, this, that the kids are okay, so that'll take some time. And we also have to do sumo wrestling. That's how you get the iron boots. Am I spoiling too much? I don't think so. It's not like I'm saying that Midna dies or something. Oh, did I just, did I? Seriously though, that, that's, that doesn't actually happen. I'm sorry. That actually does not happen. Midna does not die in this game. In that, if this were Game of Thrones, people would be fucking flipping shit that I even said that. It's like, oh, and now I know she lives. God damn it, you're spoiling everything. In my opinion, that's... Like, two peop people are too concerned with spoilers. Too concerned. And it seems like a very recent thing, too. It's probably not all that recent, but st it's... People, quit being so goddamn skittish. And that goes with this, these so-called triggers. Don't be... Grow some thick skin. The internet is not your safe place. Yes, they're alive. If you think the internet is your safe place, you are a naive fool. Seriously, the internet is not your safe fucking place. You know what else isn't a safe place? A university. You're supposed to be challenged at universities, not catered to. Wimpy ass motherfuckers, God damn it! I may, I may be, I may have some strong opinions here. You might be able to tell. <laughs> Um, it just bugs the crap out of me. It's like, grow some thick fucking skin. That also kind of translates to political correctness in a way, too. It's like, I understand being sensitive to things, but when you take offense to everything, you just, you just, you're, you're, you, at a certain point, you're not benefiting those with the real problem. You are belittling the problem that real people have. Like, people have real problems with triggers and stuff. If you're saying, oh my god, this RNG is triggering me, you're just, you're, you're not doing anything but, you're not helping. Just, just stop. Hello, dog, we gotta hug you. We have to hug you. Okay, I know that was totally unrelated to Zelda and probably a bit of a downer, but, you know. Yes, they're alive. I, I love that he's holding the dog while he's talking. It's great. I also love how it goes to black whenever Link is supposed to be talking. <laughs> so if you ever, like, if anyone ever tells you Link can't talk, they're absolutely wrong. Link talks in a lot of different games, it's just you don't hear him talk or see him talk, really. Like, you might see him talk in Skyward Sword, but it's implied that he actually talks. You can go watch, you can watch, in any Zelda game really, you can, there are times where he speaks. Like, he is implied to speak in Ocarina of Time. I'm not sure about Majora's Mask. I'm not as familiar with Majora's Mask. Yes, I'm okay. And the kids are okay. Um, he's implied to speak in Wind Waker. He's implied to speak in Twilight Princess. He's implied to speak in Skyward Sword. So, the notion that Link can't talk is, pro is false. Yes, they don't show him talking or give him actual words because they want you to... Okay, they're nothing in use. They want you to put yourself into his shoes. But... He does talk. The reason for... Yeah. I already said the reason for him not talking. Alright. Is this door open? Is he, Are they locked out now? Or... Yeah. Do I get in here later? I don't remember if I get in here later. Oh, someone went through and translated all these signs. Uh, usually, if they're like... If they look like this, they say... House. Basically. When translated to Hylian from Japanese, because Japanese is based on Hylian, or Hylian is based on Japanese, Writ the written language anyway. There's bigger ones that says signs of Hy sign of Hyrule, and then there's another one that says something else, and there are a few miscellaneous ones. Yeah, I'm all safe. So are the kids. Ugh. Oh, Colin, Colin is alive. Yes, yes, they're alive. 
Children all safe, how wonderful. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really don't know what from the bottom of my heart means. Why the bottom? Why is the bottom of your heart better to thank people from than just with all, like with all your heart makes more sense than just the bottom. Don't link that sword, evil creature stole it, but yeah. You need to know, yes, keep using it. Well, I hope you return it. It's good to see you. So what happened to him? Did he die? Like, I don't think he died. I'm pretty sure he didn't. I think if you talk to her again, she says that he went off into Hyrule to do something. I don't remember what. But he's still alive. I think you might find him later severely injured. Okay, I think that's everyone I need to talk to. Hello, Bo. Er, Bo? Yeah. What happened to you, lad? Uh, yeah, about that, I magically got clothes. And no, I am not high. Oh my gosh. I see youngins in, are in Kakariko. Yeah, that's good. Renato, that was his name, right. Oh my god, so don't keep me waiting, lad. Ilya? Uh, yeah, about her. I don't know where she is. And I genuinely do not remember where she is. I, I don't even have a clue of where she might be. All five of the poor kids. Yeah, quit being selfish, you jerk. But once you know all the other children are safe, it is not selfish of you to ask and to be worried about your daughter, specifically. The fact that you asked about them first is probably the thing that is important. So... I can teach you. Yeah, sure. Let's learn the sumo wrestling thing. Alrighty. Come this way while I walk funkily. Funkily? Is that a word? I don't know. Sumo. Slap the charging goats. Do you want to hear more? Um, no. I, I know how to do this. Basically, you slap to make them off guard, then you, like hit them, and then you push them back and try to throw them off the edge. That's generally how sumo works. He looks pretty good. He looks like the role of a sumo wrestler. Link? Uh, I can't say so much that he does. Although, he's pretty well defined. You can see abs and pecs and all that. Pretty, pretty impressive, really. Most people would kill for that physique, right? I want to know what that, uh, um, I'm pretty sure that's Japanese. Or, or some translated Hylian Japanese stuff, but, but, uh, I'd like to know what that says. Probably something like sumo and start, something mundane like that. You seem to understand the basics. Uh, yeah, yeah I do, sorta. And, ready? Actually, it says ready, probably says ready and fight, like it says on the tin. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm trying to get around you, not you or get around me. No, I was not. Fuck, fuck, no, I'm gonna lose. God damn it. It's fucking dumb. Like, don't go. It knows the direction I'm going and decides to go the other way, so the the net effect is nothing happens. Yeah, I get it. Yes, fuck you. Just let me win. I have to beat you anyway, so you might as well just let me win. Yeah, slap him. Get him done. Damn. Fuck, there's a dodge mechanic. Shit. A, not B. Motherfucker. Might as well just lose now. No reason to... Like, he didn't do this last time. Like, last time, he... It was... It, sometimes he would move in the right direction. Sometimes he would move in the wrong direction. But other times, he would not move at all. So why is he always moving in the exact right direction? Quit reading my inputs, game. Quit reading them and doing that. Damn it. Of course he dodged. Wow, seriously? Oh my god, stop it! You... Come on, let... it doesn't even give me a chance to slap him. Like, he'll just dodge it. 
No, he didn't that 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 time. He didn't that time. There we go. Get off the mat, you fat fuck. Jesus. I just realized he's his legs are textured to be hairy. That's kind of weird. And his ankles are tap taped up. So, what's that thing around his waist? It's not really a belt, but it's like I don't know what it is. Maybe someone knows better. Let me know what that is. Alright, now I get to learn your actual secret, which is... Iron Boots! Iron Boots! <laughs> yeah, heavy, not even a Goron can move you. These boots were made of iron. Yeah, that... No shit, they're called Iron Boots. Now, if they were made of steel, you could say, They're made of steel! Ha ha, I guess you would never imagine that because they're called Iron Boots. But no. What's up here? Is there anything up here for you? For me? For them? Alright, well, now back to Kakariko. And I just remembered a part that I have to do, which makes me glad I separated this into two episodes. So awesome. Well, um... I will meet- Oh wait, I got one more person to talk to about the kids. Forgot the ranch hand. Hey dude, the kids are alive. Yes, yes, they're alive. No fooling, the tots are safe. Yes, they're safe. Okay, now I will see you in Kakariko. Oh, right, 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 I forgot. Yeah, I'm not in Kakariko, but there's a very good reason for this. This guy. Hello, Ocarina of Time Link. And Majora's Mask Link, since you're the same person. Ah. Uh. I completely forgot about this. And I realized someone posted a screenshot of Hyrule Castle and I realized that's Hyrule Castle in the background. Yes, we meet again. More look of the hero than you did before. Are you ready to learn the next skill? Yes. I must test you to ensure you've mastered the skill I taught you, the ending blow. Now come at me, bro. Right, and finish. Boom! I've mastered it. And those are snow peaks, that snow peaks in the back left there. Basically, you're looking at the map, because right there on the right is the Goron Mines. Shield attack. And here, you'll be able to see... The desert, the desert spires there. I don't know if I noticed that in my first playthrough, but, uh... ZR to thrust your sword. Alright. ZL to lock on, and then shield, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I remember that or not in the first place, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I attack him after I shield bash him. Okay, cool. Excellent. Open a hole in your defenses and strike without hesitation. The shield attack I have just taught you can also be used to repel an enemy's projectile attack. Would you practice? Then repeal my magic with your shield attack. So, not only can I use a bottle to do that, I can use the Master Sword, and I can use the shield. You will defeat your enemies with ease. You learn the second ability. Hooray! I love that animation, it's great. Alright, but I have five more secrets. Five? How will I ever learn them all? Actually, that brings up a question. What am I standing on? I can see everything, but what am I standing on? Where are we, even? I don't even know where we're at. I know where we're at here. We're we're in Ordon or Ordon Province or something. Whoever. Now I will see you in Kakariko Village. Here we are. Uh oh, cutscene. What could this mean? Uh oh. Get out of the road, quick! Yet another reference in this game that I've made to other pulp culture media. So there was Lord of the Rings. There was Aladdin, and there was Lost. <laughs> yeah. Colin, don't be a fool! Don't be a hero! And what are you doing? Quit staring and do something. What is that on her back? And Grim Determination, only to be knocked out and captured. Hey, dude. <laughs> yeah, you put that shield down. <laughs> I love that look of, like, yeah, you better put it down. Link won't do that. 
Link is... How does... He is determined. Well, okay, he's holding up Colin. But up to that point, he wasn't, presumably. So why would he be determined, other than he was the one who knocked him out and kidnapped Ilya and Colin in the first place? So, never mind. Alright. Yeah, sorry, no reunion. Hey dude, I got the iron boots. I'll be right back, though. I gotta, I gotta deal with this motherfucker. I always feel like I should cut out the swearing a little bit, just because I feel like I do it too much. But then again, I don't like censoring myself if I don't have to, so... It's my channel! If you don't like it, you don't have to watch! And if you do, well, I'm glad you're here! Consider giving the video a like, comment, and subscribing! Please, thank you! <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Also, where's Ilya, you piece of shit? This also reminds me of the fight in the Two Towers. Uh, the Warg fight, when they're on their way to, uh, sh uh, Shadow Realm. Shadow Helm, not Shadow Helm, it's, uh, Helm's Deep. I knew there was Helm in there somewhere. Alright, come on. Get up there. There. Slash him, there you go. Okay, let's just stay close to him. Hit him, damn it. There you go, damn it. Come on. Alright, come on, where'd he go? Over there. Damn it, he was moving right towards me. Target him, thank you. It kind of bugs me that you can target things from behind you. It's, like, it's fine when there's not, when there's only like one enemy, but uh, when there's multiple and the guy you want to target is right in front of you, it's annoying. Alright, the bridge duel. I think I had to do this four or five times when I did it the first time. I want to say something, but I'm not going to say it because it's going to jinx it. If I remember afterwards, I will tell you. Let's do this. You're going down, buddy. Colin? Yeah, Colin's still attached, okay. There we go. One time. Turn around, Epona. Or do you do that? I don't know if she does that automatically or if I have to do something for it, but... Damn it, shit. I, went, I moved too far. Too far too quickly. But at least I haven't been knocked off yet. So, there's that. Come on, motherfucker! The ma- the mouse. The- the opponent controls fucked me that time because I went, like, like, I feel like you should be able to do slightly left to turn left. But no, and then that time the sh short sword shield. The sh the sword just didn't fucking swing. And camera, quit turning around, damn it. I don't need to be directly behind my me right there. Come on. God damn it. Actually, the main concern I had the first time was my health, because I was down to like half a heart. Come on. Why is Link slashing on the left side? He's on the right side, damn it. Like, I know he's left-handed, but he know also knows the guy's on the left. I guess that means I should go to the right. Come on, motherfucker, just... I guess at least I'm not taking damage, but goddamn, just get me through this. What was that? I'm, I couldn't move any farther. Motherfucker. There we go. At least it kept the damage I dealt to him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I, I always think when Epona does that, she has all of her weight and Link's weight on one foot. And that seems like it'd be uncomfortable. There's a cool shot, though. 
Hey, hello, Colin. Yes, it's me. So, everyone is okay. Every, what I was wanting to mention before was, I hope, uh, this is me before that fight. I hope that I can do this in one go to counteract the fact that it only took me like two goes to do the opponent thing originally when it took me more times this time, but I knew that was too good to be true. And I bet, I would bet, are you mad at me? No. Why would she be mad? And she doesn't even say anything, she just shakes her head. Like a child. I know she's a child, but come on. Shit, where did I leave off the sentence? Oh, it's like, yeah. Right, I jinxed it. But the only reason it got jinxed was because I thought of it in the first place. The universe knows. You can't fool the universe. And this is where Colin has a realization and he's doing that thing where you put your hand in the air and then grip it because you're determined. You saved me. Uh, yeah. Who else would have saved you? No one else would have been brave enough to go fight the guy. Barnes certainly wasn't fucking gonna help you. Coward. You can do anything. Um, for what's required of him in this game? Yeah, he can do anything. But I can think of a few things he can't do. Some good, some bad, some naughty. Who knows? A lot of things he can't do within the context of the game. Like, dude, he's not dead. He is not dead. Calm your little, little head. I was serious, you know, calm your tits. I was gonna say calm your little tits, but that's wrong. And he's a boy, so, you know, it doesn't work anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, onward to the Goron Mines city thing. Alright, so I actually made a pretty decently length episode of this. Um... Actually, I need to heal here. So, I put the disclaimer at the beginning of this video, and I think the last video, I haven't decided on that one yet. But what I am going to do now is I'm not gonna have this regular Let's Play. I'm gonna be streaming it and just playing the game, basically. I'll be, still be giving commentary and things and trivia that I know of when it comes appropriately, but it won't be the typical Let's Play. I'm not gonna be talking as much as I normally do through it. You'll still see all the important bits, you'll see, it'll still pretty much be cut the way I do these episodes, but, um, there'll be less of me talking, um, maybe. There, there'll be some chat interaction, you might actually see the chat on screen if there's chat going on. Um, yeah, so hopefully that turns out okay, and hopefully if you're watching this, you tune into that, and maybe watch me live. I don't really have set times on when I'm gonna do that, um, weekends, well... I was going to say weekends are most likely, but usually I'm speedrunning on the weekends. Either way, you should head over to my Twitch page and follow there. It's uh, twitch.tv slash Uzi Gorilla. I'm Uzi Gorilla everywhere, like my end card says, so if you search Uzi, Uzi Gorilla, uh, I would imagine 9 times out of 10, probably even 10 out of 10 times, it'll be me, so... Go ahead and fin follow me over to Twitch. I might be streaming to YouTube Gaming, I haven't decided if I want to simulcast there or not, but... Um, I tend to like Twitch better for streaming just because it has better functions and I can get Twitch alerts and all that anyway. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching up to this point in both the series and this episode. I hope you will continue to watch the stream VODs that I post here on YouTube and hopefully live as well. So hopefully I see you over there. Until next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please consider giving the video a like or a dislike. I'm not too picky on which. If you have something that's more complicated to say than a like and a dislike, you can consider leaving a comment below. Or if you'd like to see more videos, you can even consider subscribing. For more Zelda gameplay, you can check out my Wind Waker playthrough on the top. And for something different, you can check out my Shovel Knight playthrough on the bottom. Oh god, so many things! It's all the things! Run away!